Hey guys, so Jane from Legion Gaming. In this video, I have some information about the Battlefield 1 DLC. And we got some footage of the new game of Frontline and a look at the M1918 or the 1918 Ruby Roll submachine gun that we're getting in the game. So, first, I'm just gonna go over this game mode by letting you watch through this video and then I'll have some commentary afterwards. After the initial mobile war on the Western Front, holding on to captured ground proved to be a challenging task. Frontlines combines conquest and rush in a symmetrical head-on engagement, where the contested frontline can move in both directions. During the first phase, each side fight over a chain of objectives. Only one of the objectives is active at once. Conquering an objective allows that faction to advance closer to the enemy base. Once a faction loses the flag objective closest to their base, they will have to defend the two telegraph posts inside the base. Artillery called in from the telegraphs can be used against the attackers. The phase ends when both telegraph posts have been destroyed or when the attackers have run out of reinforcements. A failed telegraph attack will revert to the initial flag objectives phase where the factions continue fighting for access to their bases. The game ends when one faction has destroyed both enemy telegraph posts or when the time runs out. So as you can see, Frontline is just basically a mix of Conquest or Hardpoint and Rush. So basically there's one objective, a Conquest-like objective that you're fighting over in the middle of the map to start off. And as you can see on the diagram that they show, that's the B objective. And then whichever team captures that objective will advance towards the next objective. So if the red team won um, in this game, they would advance towards objective A. And then once they took objective A, they get a chance to destroy both MCOMs. If they fail to take both MCOMs, then it reverts back to the central objective, and you basically have to fight over that again. This objective looks really cool, and I really like seeing it on this new map, Rupture. Uh, this map actually does look really cool, and I'm super excited for it. Although it, is, it doesn't really bring nothing too new to the table in this game, I'm just excited to finally get new maps in this game, and I'm super hyped for it. But uh, tell me what you think about this game mode. It seems like one of the cooler game modes that we're going to have in this game overall. Uh, very dynamic, very fresh, very new, and I do like that they added a new game mode with the DLC like they have in our previous Battlefield games. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the footage of the M1918 Ruby Roll. So I talked about this when I said the six new weapons that were coming in the game. Um, I'll put an annotation to the video, and if not, if you can't see the annotation, just basically click onto my channel and it's one of the more recent ones but you can see right here the gun with the iron sights and it seems to fire pretty fast I mean the fire rate on this one weapon seems to be really fast especially for what it is and it doesn't seem to have too much recoil so I'm really hyped to get this new submachine gun as there are only three SMGs in the game and uh, basically I'm just excited for any new weapon that we can get in this game uh, tell me what you think about this new footage uh, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more Battlefield 1 content I'm probably going to have a hardline video come out tomorrow, and then a little more uh, Call of Duty with uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, because those videos have been doing decent, and uh, you guys seem to like some Modern Warfare Remastered. Tell me what kind of videos do you guys want down below in the comments, but that's what it is for guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.